You know, KETK News is your local election headquarters. And just two hours ago, our exclusive town hall discussion wrapped up with Governor Greg Abbott at UT Tyler. We have our state capitol bureau reporter Wes Rappaport and KETK My Owens live with more on governor's answers tonight. His thoughts on the future of Texas and how audience members felt about what was said during tonight's town hall. Now the topics ranged from gun violence to priorities lawmakers tackled during the 86th legislative session. We'll start with Wes Rappaport for a recap of tonight's town hall. Wes, good evening. Hi Casey, greetings from the campus here at UT Tyler. You know, this conversation tonight started with the deadly shooting in El Paso. Governor Abbott says though he does not expect to call a special session to focus on guns specifically, there are other actions state leaders can take. For the first time in the history of the state of Texas, a governor has used constitutional authority to create a task force dealing with domestic Terrorism. After talking about gun violence for nearly 15 minutes, the conversation shifted to legislative priorities from this year. This last legislative session, what did you and the other lawmakers do to lower our property taxes? Well, well thank you for the question, uh, but I understand your pain. We used more than $5 billion to reduce your property tax rates. On average across the state of Texas, that will be about a 7% reduction in the first year with an increased reduction in the second year. An audience member pressed him on immigration and spending state dollars on border security. Congress needs to better fund Border Patrol. That will help secure the border. But in, in the meantime, Texas will do everything we can to step up and do our part to secure the border. Understanding this last point, which is hugely important. In Texas, we fully embrace legal immigration. Our job is focused on preventing illegal immigration. As for the future of the Republican Party, Abbott said he does not see Texas turning any color but red anytime soon. Congressman Joaquin Castro provided a Democratic response to the discussion. When it comes to keeping people safe, I didn't hear many solutions. He's got to call the legislature into session to, to pass universal background checks, to pass red flag laws, to address issues of mental health. And Governor Abbott also talked about the latest uh, Texas Education Agency school district ratings that uh, came out this week, as well as uh, teacher pay raises and election security. Of course, much more to digest as we uh, process all of the responses that we heard tonight. Reporting live at UT Tyler, I'm Wes Rappaport, KETK News. All right, Wes, thank you. And